it's Sarah. I'm going to do a art journal page and it's going to be on this background that I did previously in a previous video. Um, I guess it's considered a mixed media background but that's just because um, I used stencils and stamps and all different types of things to get this kind of uh, mishmash of things going on there. So. Um, but now, after having done that, I want to add, um, I'm going to do, based on a piece that's by CC, CC's Creations, this was a watercolor piece, I'm going to do it in acrylics on here. So I've already sketched it out. Let's see if you can see some of the pencil lines, and I use this uh, Derwent sketching pencil. I guess it's a, it's a wash brush because it's, it's water soluble, so if I mess up, I can just take it off. And I'm just going to start to put in, um, I have my palette here. This is the palette basically that I used on the background. I'm not going to change the colors for, so all the greenery will be, like, everything in the picture will be the same colors as the background, in other words, right? I have my brushes. To do a lot of the base coating, I like to use a flat brush. So I have these couple different size flat brushes. I have a round brush, different different variety of brushes. And then when I get down to the details, I like to use an angle brush. So for right now, I think I'm going to use this size. This is about a number six. And this is one of those cheapy ones from um, AC Moore. I have um, glazing medium in the middle. And I'm using that to kind of make transparent paint out of this opaque paint. And the first thing I'm going to use, believe it or not, is white because I want to block in these clouds. And so I'm grabbing some white and a little bit of um, that glazing medium. I'm just going to set this over here. You don't need to see that. And I'm going to start blocking in these clouds. And it's going to be sheer-ish, right? I, I want uh, some of that background color to show through. That's the idea anyway. And I've also put a frame around it because actually when Cece did this originally, it was a doodle page that she did. And she actually sketched it out first and then painted it. And I'm doing the opposite. So I've kind of, I'm going backwards. I'm going to paint it first and then come back and put my, um, uh, line work in. So I have another cloud over here. I'm probably not going to do all this on camera because um, I prefer to come back and show you the details uh, when you can see what's going on because I, I mean it's hard to see the pencil. First of all, I can hardly see it so I'm kind of sticking my face in the shot. I think there's a skinny little um, cloud right here. And the um, glazing medium helps the paint to slide along as well. Uh, I'm using that instead of water and I'm really liking the effect. It gives um, a little bit more of a, a, a deep a depth. It gives depth is what I'm trying to say. So, oops, stuck my finger in it. So there's two clouds there. There's a big tree here. What else do I want to make white? Anything? Not at the moment. <clears throat> I'll figure it out. I'm going to do some, let's do the green then so you can see that big tree. So again, I'm loading my brush with glazing medium and then I'm going to grab the green paint. And I'm just going to go around the outside edge of this big tree. And I could probably be using my bigger brush. Because a bigger brush covers a bigger area, right? So let me switch. I'm going to switch to this little bit bigger brush. And I just went into the glazing medium. And what's kind of cool about that Derwent... Um, water brush, water soluble brush too. Oop, that's the house. See, now I'm trying to, all right, so this is, there. it's right next to a house. There's like a slopey uh, roof there. But, what was I saying? Um, 
when you when you melt that uh, pencil it kind of gives you an outline like a, a shaded outline effect which is kind of cool um, so there's one big tree maybe you can start to see that the roof is there there's a trunk here um, so I'm going to clear that off a little bit because I want the trunk to go up into the tree I have these little bushes all along here so I'm going to do that too and it's just a sheer coat of green it's not opaque because I'm going to do that with the shading so I'm just kind of blocking in a little bit of color not too much and it's already greenish down here anyway because I did kind of focus my green area down here towards where I knew there was going to be grass and there's another tree right here that's kind of more off in the background it's not um, it's kind of smaller because it's supposed to be representing something a little further off in the distance don't know if it will appear so but it may and that is my intention so got that so see can you see that I think I used a lot more um, glazing medium on this little tree and then the house is here I'm not really liking how that white is looking. I'm just gonna, oops, just drop some water on there. Smooth it out a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna put a frame around it, like I said. So my house is right here. I think I'm gonna make, I have a cobblestone path, and I think that's gonna be blue. I think I'll make the roof, the house is gonna be pink. The roof could be blue too. Yeah, I'll make the roof and the cobblestone path. So I'm loading my brush with the glazing medium and then I dip it in the paint and just brush mix it. That means I'm just like brushing it together here. So there's these little kind of path here. And I don't know why I'm choosing blue, but I just am. Because I have gray out and I could make it more realistic looking, but I wanted to use the colors from the palette that I chose. So that would leave that blue that we did the sky with. Just making it kind of edgy like that. And then I think I'll do the roof this color too. Um, so I guess I'll continue on. You, it's starting to come together, right? Can you kind of see? Uh, it's a little difficult to see, huh? I made a little scallop bottom. And then I'm going to try to... And I, I like to use the edge of my brush. So this is a flat brush, so I just stick it up against the edge and pull it down. Usually I'm able to get a pretty straight line. And anything that looks um, wonky now, I can always fix at the end with my, uh, I'm gonna use a dip pen. So see, I kind of went out a little further and it picked up that um, the black uh, Derwent pencil and it made it darker there, which is awesome. I'm probably going to make curly cues there too, so I like that. I'm going to make, um, I do need to add some yellow. Maybe I'll make the uh, tree trunks a little bit of yellow with what? Yellow and pink maybe? Yellow and pink make orange. Uh, what else? I want to do the house. Um, I need to... I think I want to put a window too, so I want to make the door a little smaller. I'm going to make the door, I guess I'll make the door um, blue too. I could change it, I could add white to it. Let's add a little bit of white to the blue and make it like a lighter blue. And I need some glazing medium. Boy, there's a lot of paint on my brush. 
but I'm just going to kind of put a little blue door here I'm making it like a a thumb saw a thumb shape like a I like that a thumb shape right and everything's looking good <clears throat> there really isn't a lot to the design so I'm going to be able to do a lot of it with the details so I'm going to put a yellow window I might want to block that in with white first just to get it to show up so I'm going to put a little white circle right here because the yellow would be really translucent and it wouldn't come out looking yellow it would come out looking the background colors wait you know what circles grow on you so that's a huge window do I want it that big not really I think I want to make it a little smaller All right, let's put a pink house. And again, I'm just taking, let's see, am I zoomed in? Let's zoom back out all the way. Because I'm taking my brush and I'm loading it with gel medium. I have water on it too. Stick it in the pink and mix it together on my palette. And now I have a transparent pink. And I'm just using the brush to um, get into those nooks and crannies and there's some texture I just went over that looks like the plastic canvas I use definitely use the edge of my brush I'm still shaky. I when I filmed earlier, I had uh, had coffee. I think I'm ODing on coffee a little bit. I I love iced coffee. I drink iced coffee every morning, and um, sometimes I get really jittery from it. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes it's just like nothing. Like I could just take a nap after but today for some reason it really had me shaken and I mean it's still continuing I, I when I ate lunch I didn't eat um I didn't even have I didn't have soda or iced tea or anything I just had water because I was trying not to add to it anywho um yeah I feel really shaky all right, so are you starting to be able to see it? Yay, it looks good. I like it. Um, so I got to do those tree trunks, and I want to use brown. I, I should just use brown. Um, I'm going to just use brown because I have this burnt sienna. It's not in the background, but I don't know. I think it. I think it's all right. Am I am I breaking a rule? Maybe, maybe I'm breaking a rule, but guess what, I don't care, I'm sure if the mixed media, what are they, the mixed media police came, I would just get a warning, it would be okay. I'm going up into the tree because I want to I'm just doing it that way and this is going to have it right down the middle of the bush it was a doodly um, design that she did and I like the way it looked so I mean you wouldn't necessarily be able to see the trunks of the bushes but I like the way Cece did it so that's what I'm kind of doing it based on and I'm loving when I hit that pencil it just grabs and darkens it up it makes like a shaded area there 
All right. So pretty much I'm blocked in. I'm going to put, I have to put some um, green on the grass. And I'm going to put a horizon, some horizon color. So now's when I'm probably going to start to shade, although I want to add um, any little fun things too. Um, I might put, do I want to put one of my chimneys or, hmm. I don't know. All right, I have to go to the bathroom. I'm going to let that dry, and I'm going to think, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm, in, I'm back. i um, going to just keep going. I think I'm going to let you see everything I do this time. Uh, so I'm going to shade around the outside with just the blue. I'm going to use my, my um, angle brush. I just love an angle brush wall for floating, which is the technique I'm going to use. And I'm using water. Um, I corner load the brush into that dark blue color. I have too much water on my brush, so I just blot it on a paper towel. And then you work the paint into the bristles. And I'm going to start going around, like around the cloud. On the background, though, not on the cloud in the sky and it just kind of sits that cloud now onto the page. I'm going to go around the tree as well with the paint corner up against the tree and the water edge um, out onto the background. So see that kind of <coughs> And it covers up a lot of the background, but it still shows through. And that's what I love. So let's go around this cloud. I'm going to lose a lot of that yellow, which I really like. Got to get my mop brush, too. It's a little awkward with this, uh, the cover of the book. And maybe I'm going a little dark because that's what I do. I forget. See, I really got it on the um, sugar, sugar. Like I went out, I went on the cloud too much. I didn't want to do that. Although it would have been fine. That's the thing. It's, it's not, like I said, I don't think the mixed media police are going to come. So I'm kind of free to do whatever I want. I'm going to move that over because I'm, this journal needs more room than that. Uh, I don't even know where I was, but I'm going to go over here now, under the cloud. And just block that in. Around this tree. And all of a sudden, my the blue for the sky is going to be more apparent. It's not going to be all these random colors. But they will be there. And it will be, okay, all right, and I'm going to go down the tree, on both sides of the tree, and the horizon line, I guess I'm just going to, hey, I didn't, I think I want more tree there, so I'm just going to go like that. I'm going to go up the side of the house, and I put my, you could do this with your pit pens, and that's what a lot of different mixed media artists do, because they started doing mixed media, and they had never had the background experience that I have with this type of um, shading, so they use the tools that do the best, um, get the best result, so... I've used them too, and I, I do like them. I just don't have as much control, and I actually like to float. I like this technique. I like doing it, so I do it. And if I didn't like it, I wouldn't do it. Oh, this is what I was doing. Um, I wanted to clean up this. It's too dark. And because it's not completely cured yet, I was able to, like, definitely calm it down a little bit. 
<coughs> and um, now I'll finish that. I'm not going to, I'm going to try and be a little more um, lighter with the color. I don't want as much color. And that's really how much paint I'm putting on my brush. That I can control that and I just need to be more careful. <coughs> so, let's see what that looks like. I blocked in, there's like a little um, wavy line border on here that I kind of drew in. And I'm just following that around too. So you can see that. Uh, not sure what I'm going to do with that actually at the moment. I might zentangle it or something like that. But right now I'm just going to bring the sky color down to meet the, oops, not up onto the tray. It's hard on camera. Um, honestly, I feel like I'm a little rushing right now or something, something. Just take your time, be patient. I'm talking to myself, telling myself that. Um, Maybe the roof isn't going to stay blue because it's so much, it's blending in. I might make it light blue like I did the door. I think I'll change it because it's too um, matchy matchy with the sky color right now. It's looking a little um, too much. Hopefully I'm not zoomed in. <coughs> uh, where was I? Over here. I think I already, no, I, I went up against the tree. Um, does it look too dark? I think it looks good. Because once I shade all the other stuff, it'll, like, um, even itself out. And I possibly could have just done this on all the left sides of things or something instead of everywhere. So... That could that could be a, an idea too, you know, to not put it everywhere. But I'm just doing it everywhere at the moment. Um, I do think I'm gonna do change the color of that roof, and I'm gonna make it that light blue color. So I'm gonna just see if there's some right here that I can use. I still had some on my palette, and just gently. Go over it. I mean, there's not a lot of thatched roofs that are blue. Where are there? But I just think it's um, not going to bug me as much if it's. A lighter color than the sky. I have Kiwi with me. I see it. It looks cute. Kiwi, come here. I'm going to show everybody to you. Step up. This is Kiwi. Oh, oh she just shit on the piece. <laughs> Perfect. Well, at least it wasn't on me. All right. That was funny, Kiwi. Wait, come here. What? Now she's flying away. Kiwi, come here. Why you did that, Kiwi? That's not. Oh, that's not nice. I don't think she likes being on camera. She's camera shy. Oh my god. All right, I gotta do this yellow. This little uh window. And I'm just using a little round brush for that. 
but that really pops yellow because I had the white underneath. And <clears throat> I'm gonna add, I'm gonna use, I don't think this is gonna be dark enough. I might go up. I could just add black, but guess what? I already have black green. So I think I'm gonna use that. And it's gonna be much darker, but maybe I'll add a little bit of that green to this. But this is what I'm gonna use to shade <coughs> all around the grass area and give it that dimension. So maybe I'm gonna take a little bit of that green and mix a little bit of black green into it. And that way it's not as dark. So let's just start at the edge. It actually looks really gray. I don't really love that color. Where the heck's my mop? Here it is. Um, it kind of just looks gray. Oh, actually it looks okay. Let's just continue, Sarah. Let's do a bit here. Because I gave this house a little hill. It's like, well, it's like sitting on a little... I think I'll shade around these um, stones <clears throat> and make them appear to be <clears throat> like kind of sitting in the grass a little instead of just floating on the grass. And when I outline everything, it, it cleans it up because I know I, I'm getting paint on the edges of that and it doesn't seem as neat but once I finish the whole piece that dip pen just neatens it up so nice so that's good and yeah I want to go around this edge the bottom edge of the, um, <clears throat> where I set the, I'll show you, right here. I'm just going to finish this whole thing. Just brush mi mixing again a little bit of that black green into the olive green just to kind of darken it up and uh, think it's working and it mixes with that pencil and that makes it more um, how's that look when I look up in the camera I don't this is way too dark I can just take the olive green and come back around and take it away. But I lightened it up a little. It needs it here too. All right, and then, you know what else we gotta shade? The trees, so I'm gonna do like a line where the tree trunk hits the tree. And on the bushes, I don't need to do that as much. I'm going to, <coughs> I'm gonna add like some details I think that's going to come around like that. Maybe this. <clears throat> mm. 
what else? <clears throat> you know, something I really thought was adorable that um, Cece did was made little hearts dangling from the clouds. And um, I don't know if I'll have enough room to do that. I think I'm going to fill this in with um, the blue. So, all right, I'm going to... Um, I just wanted to give that a little bit more um, definition. I'm going to go ahead and like be shading and highlighting. So actually for the um, green highlight, I'm going to take some of the green, the light green, this is called olive green, and a little bit of white and brush mix that for the highlight color on like the top of the hill. So I'll show you that. And maybe even on some of the man I'm like so sloppy tonight sometimes I'm very neat and sometimes like right now it's coming off quite messy um, but like right here on the top of this hill just making that pop a little bit more and then <clears throat> on the top of the whole big hill, like right here, just to kind of give that a line, like make it stand out, but I don't want it to, oops, I didn't want it to come into where I had shaded here, I got carried away. And right here I can bring it over, but don't go into the shading. So just like right to there. And just little areas. I think that's good. So I'm gonna do that on the trees more, and I'm gonna shade the trees. And then like for the house, all I have to do is uh, um, flute this uh, pink color up under here full strength I could add a little bit of black but let's see if that yeah I probably do need to add a little bit of um, a different color but I'm going to shade everything and then I'll come back I'll be back in a minute okay let's take a look at it it's looking pretty good I've done all the shading and that for me really brings the piece together it makes it pop um, without it it's just a flat piece so that's what I need to do to really make it come together but now I'm going to use my pit, um, pit pen this is India ink calligraphy ink it's by speedball and I have the um, the sketching nib on here and I'm going to start outlining my design and I'm going to go around you know what though I think I should start on the left and kind of um, because I, you can smudge it so I don't want to smudge it um, I put, did put some hearts and I'm going to have them dangling from different areas. Some are going to dangle from... Ooh, <laughs> Kirby found her ball, I guess. I'm sorry, I have a crazy dog. For those of you who are new to my videos, her name is Kirby. And this one's going to be dangling from that. From that. Um, I put like a, a frame around it because... <clears throat> That's how Cece had done her piece. It, it was um, actually like a doodle. And I may actually um, double line that eventually. But for now, I'm just going to do it one line. And keep it 
so we'll see how it changes. And I gotta make sure I'm over it to get my lines straight. But I'm gonna have the heart dangling. And just, um, the harder you press with this pen, the wider the line you get. But this ink is so nice and dark. It's just a pleasure. I really do love like the black of the ink. It's such a nice contrast to all the color. Um, I added the hearts specifically because, not only because they were part of the design when Cece did it, and um, I really loved it. Very whimsical. Um, these are going to be hanging from the cloud. <clears throat> But the only thing I had on the piece was the house um, that was pink. And so I definitely needed to add a couple other pink. Um, this is going to come from the cloud. Pink details. So I ended up doing flowers in the grass with the pink color, which is actually called Fiesta Pink. And it's kind of more of a coral than a true pink. Um, and I just put little like flowers, just um, like five petal flowers in the grass area to make it look a little pinker down there and I'll outline those. But look how it starts to pop when you outline everything. Um, I'll put a little more detail on the roof. I think I'm gonna put some um, scallop lines and things like that. So I guess I could just go away and do this. See, I'm just trying to spare you, instead of me doing it and speeding it up, because I'm not the best at editing my videos yet. I I know how to um, put them together and like make them into one, like an MPEG. But I don't really know how to speed it up and slow it down and add music and all that stuff so for now it's easier for me to just um oh, there's one up in the sky just keep it in real time and that that's why I just say all right I'll go away and come back and it's just gonna stay in real time <laughs> this line is so crooked I wonder if I can get it off. Yay, there's still time. It may make a big black smudge, but I don't think so. I think I'll be able to get it off. Um, just get a clean Q-tip. Because that line was just really, really crooked. Not like, it looked like it, well, it actually could have been blowing in the breeze, right? <laughs> Now I'm touching the heart. It's actually not bad cleaning it up. I think the glazing medium actually, when you mix that in and add it, when you have it on your um, piece, I think I just put the dip pen in my water. <laughs> so I'm so used to dropping my brushes in there. But um, the glazing medium makes the surface slicker so that cleaning things up, it actually works in your favor um, because it just, it'll slide off the surface easier. Before this is actually, um, what's it called, cured, um, you probably have a little play time. Oh my gosh, this ink. It's such a pleasure. It's so black. Oh man, that's nice. Oh, I already did that line. Um, I'm doing the tree. That's what I was trying to do. But anyway, so yeah, I said I could go away and come back. And what else did I really like? Down here, these are the little flowers. And I'm going to see there is some. This is what I was telling you about. The other background I did had so much like lumpy bumpies in it. And I made the ones in the back a little smaller to kind of show perspective. See how it, you know, it's like 
So these are bigger because they're in the front closer to us. And then as it goes back, I made them smaller. So, and they can even just be an illusion of a flower. And I may make some doodly ones like right up against the house, but it's looking cute. All right, I'll be back. I'm going to do it off camera. Well, I'm in the home stretch. I decided to highlight the hearts with gold. I don't know why, but I just figured I haven't used it. And it's like a gold metallic paint. So I did that. I'm doing that. I changed the color of my door. It was the light blue, but because I had used the brown, I thought, well, I can make it brown. It was just too much with the blue bricks. Um, what else did I do? I doubled the line around the edge and kind of entangled it a little bit. I just put circles and squares and stripes and stuff. Um, I... That's about it, but let's see. Can you see that shine on the hearts? A little bit. Um, kind of makes me want to add some to the to the flowers, but they're so um, small. Just to give a little something, a little um, sheen, like a shimmer, right? I love those metallic paints so much. But see, when as they get smaller, it's kind of oh no, it works. I can definitely see it at this angle that I'm sitting at right now. I really see it. Um, but I think I'm done. I put these little swirly um, flowers back here. I'm just going to add a little dip dot of pink there to kind of, maybe, maybe they're like little buds. <laughs> I don't know. They're just little whimsical flowers and I think I'm going to call it done. So you know what I got to do? I got to sign it. And there's so much more I could do. Oh gosh, I could do so much more doodling especially, but I'm not like really, I'm not a good doodler. Meaning I'm a fine doodler when I doodle, but I don't tend to doodle. Um, like it's just not natural. So again, that's why I take classes because then it gets in my head. It's like anything. The more you watch it or talk about it or learn about it, you get it in your head. I could also put do um, some white uh, uh, Indian ink on here too. I'm going to sign it over here. And this is 2.16. Um, but yeah, the more, I don't want to know what I was saying, but I could put some white doodles, like highlight, I could come back in with my, um, paint pens too, and add color or, um, little highlights here and there. So I could maybe do that with white, right? Let me get my white, um, here, they're over here. I moved them. But like if I did, I could do it with white paint, but this is just such an easy, handy tool to have. So how about I fill in a couple of these areas that I left unfilled. See, I filled that one. I only have, I don't have very many that I left unfilled. You know me. Once I get going, but I could put a couple of these. There's, I made these stripes here. So maybe every other stripe could be white. This is coming out pretty opaque right now. It, I mean, it's looking opaque, but a lot of times the it'll pick up the color that's behind it. So it might not stay that way. And I think I'll do maybe all the stripe sections like that. And it just kind of adds to the... Uh, whimsy of it. See now this, it's not showing up as dark on the lighter color, on that orangey yellow color. Um, I don't have any place to put white over here, so I'm going to fill in this whole section, even though I already put, um, actually I used my food ball there, 
so it's picking up that ink. I'll let it dry and then I'll go back over it. And there's no place for, I want to put white up here. So I'll fill that in. Maybe I'll fill in a couple of these circles. I mean, it could just go on and on, you know? And it's whatever you like. You don't have to, you know, it's nothing. But I like it, so let's just stop. You know what else I could do? Just put highlights on the little hearts like that and try not to rub my hand and everything um, maybe I don't know something like that highlight the roof uh, how about just a line on the bricks Maybe on the edge of these, a little highlight going down the sides of the house. Maybe even on the trees, even though I um, highlighted them. That looks cute. I like it. Uh, what else? Definitely the clouds. Um, yeah, I want to make something white up here. I already have that. Uh, but yeah, that added some cool little definition, right? Maybe some white dots here, like they're a different color flower. Um, did I miss any hearts now? I missed a couple of the trees. But yeah, it's it's cute, right? I like it. All right, I think I'm gonna add white up there at some right right there. I want to add white, and it's gonna end up picking up the But again, I want to say, I love this journal, this paper. Wow, what a pleasure to work with. And uh, that's it, you guys. Let's zoom in a little. Cute. All right, thanks for watching.